so i want to talk to you guys about something something which has been bothering me past few days and uh, you know it's about marshall and millions these two dogs that were shot down by seven to nine police armed police officers in london on the streets of london so there was a scuffle that happened between marshall and millions dad mr turnbull and another woman and her dog and as all dog owners know that at one point or the other your dog your dog could end up having a fight with another dog and that's natural we as human beings also have issues with each other once in a while so somebody reported this to the police after the incident the police seven to nine armed police were sent to hunt down the two dogs and their dad and they were chased down the lane harassing the two dogs and the dad the dad had them on the leash so clearly he was he wasn't doing anything wrong the dogs were just watching they were probably confused why there are seven men following us why there are why do they why do they why are they in uniforms and what do they have in their hands so it was a very very stressful situation for the dogs so from the point of view of the dogs one needs to understand the kind of situation they were put into seven men who who probably were not trained at all in probably they were not trained at all in ha- handling an animal were chasing this guy down following him and they they walked towards the end of the lane and they turned right and there's a video video which i watched and this everything is on video so it's not like i'm just making up stories and they shot one dog in the head marshal the older dog they shot him in the head they tasered the man down the younger dog millions who was only 9 months old his leash got entangled in marshal's leash who was dead and he was trying to run away from the police you should you should have seen the fright you should see the video if you can and see the fright on that dog's face that image will change you as a person forever his leash was stuck in the dead dog's leash he was trying to pull away run back to his dad to save himself completely fet- petrified full of fear and the men just standing there in line not one decided to analyze the situation that here is a fearful dog why are we why are we shooting these dogs they didn't question themselves once they killed one and they killed the other one can you believe it a dog trying to run away <laughs> seven to nine armed men against two dogs who were not even attacking who were not aggressive who were so well behaved who were just wondering what is happening around and just because of one scuffle that happened on the street before this with another lady's dog they decide to execute these dogs in front of everybody there were people watching from the buildings they were recording this man lived with the dogs on a boat with clear signs of beware of dogs and he did everything to you know i mean he followed the protocol like being on leash the dogs being on leash you know taking good care of them he was a homeless man i don't know whether it is because he was homeless that they thought that they could just do anything that they wanted and kill and kill and kill a homeless man's dogs and nobody would talk about it i want to ask the met police how has this been allowed to happen that seven of these armed police officers not one thought that this situation needs to be analyzed and let's 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 hold it the dogs are scared why do we need to execute them are they monsters or what are they i cannot even imagine what their dad must be going through he only had them 
we took good care of them this is horrendous the world doesn't need this the world what has the world come to there wasn't even for no reason two innocent dogs lost their lives it's as simple as that for no reason and what kind of justice are we talking about will that bring the dogs back will they, will they be united with their dad there's been tons of support from all over the world regarding this issue and i'd really like to thank everybody who's standing together to support and get justice for marshall and millions i really don't want to see something like this happen ever those dogs when they were in their last moments having lived beautifully innocent lives must must have been so perplexed as to what is happening right now buddy what is happening daddy what is happening what have we done to deserve this wherever they are i'm sure they're wondering what did we do to deserve this Or the ugliest face of human beings before they passed away, and that is the worst thing ever. This, the images that I saw in the video are going to stay etched in my mind forever. And hopefully, people who have seen it, it will influence them to really voice, you know, give their voices to innocent lives. and animals i am doing in whatever little way i can i'm trying to be this person but you know at least at least we all should try please go sign the petition and support marshall and millions and their dad and uh, please do everything in your capacity to raise voice I think it was not enough for me to post. I had to come and do this. Just posting was not enough, and it's never enough. We have to prove with the actions that we can stand up for innocent lives. And true success is is you know if even one life has breathed easier. Someone rightly said, even if one life has breathed easier because of you. that is true success because you have lived another life has been able to smile that is true success the misuse of power like this has to have repercussions and i want to know what are the repercussions of this incident such a barbaric horrendous ruthless evil act in today's times i want to know what are going to be the repercussions for the people who have created such a such a huge crime against two innocent dogs 